hello so as you may know i moved house in april and i thought that today would be a really good day to show you my new room it's a lot smaller than my old one but i'm actually a lot more comfortable here i think it really suits my needs and what i like more and it's much cozier so when you walk in the room you see this plant this is my new rubber plant and it doesn't have a name yet so if you have a good idea for a name please leave it below and I love this pot. I found him in a market. I found the pot in a market and they were so affordable and so good. So I'm massively keen on this guy. And this is the corner of my room. As you can see, if you look next to the rubber plant is my big wardrobe. And this is mainly used for storage. You can see my suitcases on the top of it and boxes all through the inside. I keep my camera equipment here, shoes here, useful accounting stuff here. I hide these drawers there that were brought with the apartment that I don't really want. And then my laundry as well. And then next to the big hiding space is my wardrobe. And then my bags are at the bottom there. It's just a really convenient little capsule wardrobe spot. It's all the space I need really. And then next to my bed is my bedside table. I had this at the last place. I've brought it here as well. And it just has everything I'd want to grab kind of right next to my bed. There's my Lumi alarm clock, which has revolutionized my sleep pattern. Trust me, it's great. And then next to that, are just a couple of books. I'm not actually that into being a Parisian. I just like the way they all look. And then just a couple of hand moisturizers. I put Sleepy on my body or hands every night before bed. I really, really love it. And then my Aesop one, my perfumes, which I always reach for as I'm getting ready in the morning. And then beside that, I just have a space that can be used for a mug or a glass of water when I take it to bed in the evenings. And then down here is a little suede box which just has some bits and bobs in it. Um, a couple of books that I really like. And then my journal on the top, which is my favourite journal. I've been writing in it for like two years. It's still not done yet. And then here's my bed. My bed is what you would expect. It's gained a throw, but same cushions, same general stuff. Uh, I often watch TV here, hence the laptop. Or work here, hence my diary. And then here are the pillows. I love them to bits. <laughs> They're from H&M Home and Urban Outfitters. And then these are my new prints. I thought, you know what, Luce, you're in a new space, let's be an adult, let's buy like actual prints to put on the walls. No more fairy lights and no more Instax pics. And so these are both from Society6 and the frames are from Ikea. I will link all the details in the description so you can find the artists and check out their other work. And then moving swiftly on next to my the other side of my bed is my chest of drawers. And again, I brought them from the old place. I keep clothes, towels, things that I kind of reach for day to day in these drawers, underwear. And then on the side here, again, a space for a glass of water for me or my boyfriend. And then like candle, more hand cream, of course. And then here's my jewelry. And then in the little blue bird is a bit more jewelry as well. Again, quite aesthetically picked books. <laughs> But I do love Dodie's book, so if you want to go buy that, you should probably go and buy that. And then over here are some crystals that my friend Dottie encouraged me to buy. And I really, really love them. So they just sit out here and I like to think they're, they're blessing the room in some way. And then this is another print. I bought this a while ago. I love it. It's from a creator on Etsy. Again, I'll link it in the description. But I just love how quirky and weird it is. <laughs> so yeah, that will be linked down below. And then this is my mirror. I got this in H&M Home a while ago and it used to sit above my other mirror, but now it just sits on the side here. I think it's a really nice addition, reflects a bit of the light. And then right next to it are two of my other plants. I have a Monstera plant, which I think is also known as a cheese plant. He's looking a bit worse for wear at the moment. I don't know what he wants. I might try and get some plant food and just like spruce him up a bit, but he doesn't have a name either. If you've got a name, leave it in the comments. He's my favorite. He's been around for two years and still survived. And then next to him is another cactus I have. And then here is my piano. This is where I make music. As you can see, there is space for a shelf here, which will be put up soon, uh, where I can put my laptop and I can actually work more. And then I've also got just like my mic holder. Everything will be set up <laughs> once I have the shelf up. But right now I've still got to paint it and sand it and all of that stuff. And then that's just my notebook, my notebook where I write all my songs in. 
And yeah, I love this piano to bits. I can't actually remember what brand it is, but um, it's, I've now got a Glossier sticker over it. So that's good. And this is my mirror. <laughs> this is on the other wall. And then right next to my mirror um, is my makeup collection, which is the real bit that needs sorting out. Like this is such a state. And then there's a kind of, like all of my palettes in a bag box. What's this thing called? I don't know. And then like a tub full of makeup brushes, a bag of my portable makeup, which is an Aesop bag. And then underneath the Aesop bag, is all of my like hair appliances, chargers, really untidy. I thought this box would hide it all. I was wrong. <laughs> and so the wires just hang out everywhere and I pretend they don't exist. It's fine, right? It's fine. So thank you so much for watching my room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see as well. This is slightly out of what I normally do. So do let me know. And I hope you like my room as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.